What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to a new look New York Giants rebuild where the G-Men signed the biggest wide receiver on the free agency market in Kenny Galladay. So we're doing a rebuild with the Giants today. So we got, or we're about to sign Kenny Galladay. We got Kyle Rudolph there and we are going to, like I said, be rebuilding the Giants multiple times. I'm very excited to do this rebuild today. The Giants desperately needed to add some receiving help for Daniel Jones if they're gonna commit to him as their franchise quarterback at the moment. And they did that by picking up Kyle Rudolph by picking up Kenny Galladay, hoping to still use a first round pick on Jalen Waddell here at the 2021 draft. We re-signed Leonard Williams to an extension. We're gonna let Dalvin Tomlinson walk because he ended up signing with, I believe the Minnesota Vikings. We're also gonna sign Devontae Booker. Don't really know why the Giants did this when they have a better running RB2 than Devontae Booker. And I'd rather have Wayne Goleman than Booker. So didn't really make a lot of sense to me when you also have Saquon Barkley. So Adoree Jackson is rumored to go to the Giants, but he is not a free agent here in Madden. Let me just see if he's still under contract by the Titans, and he is. Now, yeah, it's probably going to be impossible for me to pick him up. Like, if I were to give them a receiver, uh, like, I would probably, I mean, like, Shepard probably fits the team a little bit better, but his cap is a little bit more, so I want to see if they would take Shepard for Dory Jackson, like, just, okay. Um... Maybe I should have just offered like a fifth round pick. So I think Shepard could end up in their wide receiver rotation if it's Galladay, Waddle, and probably Shepard would fit that more than Slayton. But we just pick up a Dory Jackson anyway, um, just because like uh, I wanted to. So like the O-line is all right. Like I'm guessing we'll have Nate Soldier. Yeah, like Andrew Thomas, Will Hernandez, Kevin Zietler. We'll see what kind of happens with these guys. Even though Kevin Zeller is not even on the Giants anymore, so I'm actually going to trade him to the Baltimore Ravens, who I believe signed him. So we'll see what the Ravens would even give me. Oh, they're not interested in him. Beautiful. So honestly, they want to trade Trent Brown, uh, or excuse me, Orlando Brown, or he wants to get traded because he wants to move positions. Could we maybe work out something here? Okay, what about if I also X, or I would give you two sixth round picks. That's probably not going to get it done. Oh, it does. Okay, so... I know I get Orlando Brown all the time, but this kind of makes a little bit of sense. Uh, and then we could cut Nate Soldier, even though, actually, do we want to do that? I know I'm doing a lot right now, but let me just see what the penalty would be compared to the savings. So, yeah, we don't want to cut Andrew Thomas. That wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, let me just find Nate Soldier. Let me just go to my left tackles. Just kidding. My, oh, yeah, my left tackles. So, we'd actually clear up 9 mil by uh, cutting him. So, we are going to do that. And we'll have Orlando Brown and Andrew Thomas as our tackles next year i know i get orlando brown all the time but it made sense with that team because kevin zeller or zettler was on the or he's on the ravens now and orlando brown's requesting a trade just because he wants to i think play left tackle and they have obviously ronnie stanley there so we're going to be going to the draft and we get kenny galladay on the team very nice that's what i'm talking about so pretty much at 11 i'm gonna go receiver it's either one of these three guys and usually at least one of them are there usually waddle's always there but of course when i'm doing a giant rebuild, i doubt he ends up there we'll see though but later dickerson josh myers like to scout out at least Dickerson, Creed Humphrey as well. And of course, he's not a high graded guy, Trey Hill. And we can look at like another guard because I wouldn't like, I would like to wrap out this O line and not have to worry about it. And let me just actually look at the defense, uh, which I'm excited to have a Dory Jackson and we're going to have uh, James Bradbury, who's an absolute stud out there. So we could look to draft another corner. Uh, we have Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence there on the D line. So yeah, Dalvin Thompson would have been nice to bring back. We got Blake Martinez. Yeah. Linebackers, like we got Logan Ryan. Actually, no, we want Xavier McKin um Xavier McKinney there uh with Jabril Peppers. And Logan Ryan will just go to corners. So he'll just be one of our corners. Uh he was a corner before and we're gonna make him a corner again. Join Jackson and Bradbury there. And obviously with us doing that, we don't really need to draft a corner highly. So we could look at an outside linebacker, D tackle and then receiver. That's pretty much what I want to do. So we'll just kind of keep scouting. I'll see you guys at the draft. All right, so it is NFL draft time. Like I said, Jalen Waddle is somebody I really want at pick 11. So let's see if he falls. Imagine he goes one. Now, obviously, that wouldn't even happen. So Lawrence goes one. Wilson usually goes two. Dolphins at three. Who do they end up usually taking? Do they go Parsons? No, nah, sometimes they'll take Chase. They don't normally go Sewell, uh, Panay Sewell. Yes, yeah, so they go Chase here. Four is going to be probably Parsons. Yeah, five is usually Pitts. Six is Devonta Smith. Uh, it's Panay Sewell. Uh, seven is Devonta Smith. Just nobody take Waddle. Don't take Waddle. It goes Slater. It goes Gregory Russo. And then I doubt they take a receiver. So Jalen Waddle is going to be on the board for us at 11. No, like, like, obviously the quarterbacks are still there. Kale Farley is nice. 
Um, I just got out of Z's usual worry, but we are going to go Jalen Waddle. Welcome to the New York Giants. Daniel Jones has his weapons. 11th and 2 value. We took him at 11. He has Galladay, Slayton, Ingram, Rudolph, Waddle. No more excuses. So we're here in the second round, and I'm hoping some guys that I keep scouting were here. So, okay. Wayne Dickerson's here. Joseph Asai, I would absolutely love to get. Do I take him here, though? Well, we could, like... I mean, who is my center again going into next year's season? Like, I know we're going to tackle. Our guards, we have Will Hernandez. Okay, so, yeah, we could definitely look at an upgrade like Chad Slate. Jeez, and Nick Gates, right? Yeah, we could look for some upgrades there. Um, Okay, yeah, like, Thomas, we'll just move, like, Thomas probably to right tackle. Oh, so I do need a center, but I wouldn't mind, like, maybe making a trade for uh, Joseph Asai, who I would actually love to get. So we're going to draft Landon Dickerson here. Uh, we're going to get that center that we need. Please be hidden development. Thank you. And then roughly in like 10 picks, I'm hoping Joseph Asai is still there. And then we're going to take him. But I'm sure he's just going to be off the board. Oh, I'm nervous. Nick Bolton goes. Brevin Jordan. Okay, I'm going to go like at pick 21. Deontay Brown goes. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, so I'm going to trade my third next year, my fourth this year, and Nick Gates to go up to the second round with the Bears. And now I'm going to take Joseph Asai here, and we're going to get... Please, like, I'm really hoping he's in development, because if he's not, then this was maybe a silly trade. But let's go after Asai here, and hopefully he's our franchise outside linebacker. Oh, no more development. That could always change. And then we're going to take Jalen Twyman here, a D-tackle in the third round. It's our last pick of the draft. Not the best pick in the world. All right, so looking at the lineup for the first season in the video, we'll have Brown, Thomas at right tackle, Landon Dickerson, Will Hernandez, and then we will have Shane Lemieux here as our right guard. How old is Lemieux? He's 24. Evan Ingram and Kyle Rudolph at tight end. We'll have Slayton, Galladay, and Waddle. Galladay will be the slot receiver. You guys tell me to use my slot receiver or my best receiver in the slot. And then we'll have Daniel John Jones, obviously, at quarterback. So we'll have Xavier McKinney. We got uh, Jabril Peppers, Blake Martinez, Joseph Asai, David Mayo, Lorenzo Carter, Logan Ryan, Adore Jackson, James Bradford. Barry Leonard Williams, Dexter Warrens. And do I want to start Twyman? Yeah, Mike Pennell's 29. Yeah, we'll start Twyman. Why not? So we're looking at our specialist. <laughs> Kyle Rudolph will not be the slot receiver. Honestly, I kind of want to put Waddle there, but I'm going to put, uh, we're going to put a door Jackson as our slot corner. And then I'm going to put Galladay as my slot receiver. And I'll see you guys at the end of the year. First though, we can see what's the best scheme for us. It's always vertical zone run. Like every rebuild I do, it's vertical zone run. So I'm going to go to spread just to kind of uh, change things up. And then we're going to be a 3-4 under for defense. And we were the one seed. We get the first seed in the NFC. We go 12-4 and four and we have a buy in round one. Wow. Let's freaking go. Like, we beat the Rams 38-3. Okay. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. The Giants are back. And we end up being the Eagles 28-0. Beat the Chargers. Beat the Bucks. The reigning Super Bowl champion Bucks. Wow, I did not expect to be that good in year one, but I'll take it. Daniel Jones, 23rd in passing yards, 3,800. Goes 25 TDs with 10 interceptions. He was sacked 29 times. Rushing-wise, Saquon Barkley, 1,200 yards, 12 TDs. Daniel Jones rushed for 191 yards and 3 TDs. Receiving-wise, Galladay, 896 and 6. Uh, Waddle, 75 for 857 and 4. There's Ingram, Slayton, Barkley, and Kyle Rudolph got in the end zone four times. Blocking-wise, I'm sure Orlando Brown. Now he didn't beat us in uh, sacks given up. It was Will Hernandez with eight. And on the defensive side of the ball, Logan Ryan had the, or was the only player above 100 total tackles. Sacks, uh, Lorenzo Carter got seven, five and a half for Leonard Williams. Julian Love got three interceptions, not even starting. All right. So Daniel Jones wasn't there in MVP, though. If we go to NFC Offensive Player of the Year, was he there? Nope. Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, no Giants. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Jalen Waddle was the, was number 10. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We ended up getting Joseph Asai at 8. Okay. That's really it. No major awards. But I'll take a 12-4 and four record this year. Definitely. And who do we have in the divisional round? We'll have to wait and see after Wildcard Weekend. And it is a divisional opponent, the Washington football team. I don't know why I'm upgrading Clayton Thorson, but we will. And can we beat the football team and go to the conference championship? We lose. We go 12-4 and four just to lose to a 9-7 and seven team at home in the second round. Ah, I love it. I love when that happens to me. Damn. Don't make me go 12-4 and four then if you're going to just disappoint me like that. They ended up beating us by three. It's weird because like Daniel Jones, I know Giants fans want him to be the franchise guy, but is he going to be that for us in this in this rebuild? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see if like Baker's a free. I don't know. I don't know. I might be intrigued by that idea. But let's let's go here to the offseason. 
And the Browns ended up beating the Washington football team to win the Super Bowl. So let's go here to the re-signing players phase. Orlando Brown, I know, will probably be here. And we will have some good guys. So uh, Evan Ingram, do I want to bring him back? Um, I will offer that to him. If he walks, he walks. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, in real life, he's probably not as good as this game. We'll make him out to be. But we'll see if he accepts that deal from us. And he does. Okay, so we will bring him back. Orlando Brown, I would like to bring back um, on the squad for at least... We could do a five-year deal. I could save us a little bit of money down the road. He accepts that. Odori Jackson, I would like to bring back. He wants a decent amount of money. We're going to give him a four-year deal. Who did we trade for him? Wasn't it like Sterling Shepard? Uh, and he signs that. Jabril Preppers, I want to bring back. Wow, we actually do have a ton of free agents. Uh, so let's offer him a five-year deal and hope we get him back. Beautiful. Lorenzo Carter, I would like to bring back. And that's actually pretty much it. Uh, mm, we're actually going to let Lorenzo Carter walk. Isaac Yadam, we could bring back. Um, Will Hernandez, another player I would like to bring back. So well, he's down to normal development, damn. Uh, so we'll give him that and he will resign. So that'll be it. And we'll maybe look to bring back Carter in free agency. Devonta Adams, should we go after him? No, I'm just kidding. Minka is here. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to go after him, but I would kind of love that. We could go after, nah, if there was a sick corners or a sick outside linebacker or middle linebacker. Uh, not really. So Lorenzo Carter, we should just bring back. I'm going to bring him back on a two year deal with about four mil. And yep, we're gonna do that if we go over to right end. Uh, nobody there. We still have Dexter Warren, Steve Tackle. Like Sheldon Richardson's cool and all, but we can go with Twyman going forward. We do need some guard help, and Lakin Tomlinson would actually be a nice upgrade at right guard next year. So I'm gonna give him a one year deal. I guess we're still gonna ride with Daniel Jones unless there is a stud quarterback here, but I doubt I'm gonna go after the quarterback if he's even there. Uh, Tom Brady doubt he would want to come to the, <laughs> come to the Giants. Uh, Saquon will be a free agent next year, I know. Like, we'll have a bunch of free agents. We'll have to figure out what we want to do. Um, so we get back Carter, and we bring in Tomlinson. Very nice. We do have a fifth-year option. Will this be for... Uh, oh, Daniel Jones. Okay, yes. So we're gonna pick that up. So wouldn't I also have a fifth-year option for Dexter Lawrence? Uh, yeah, there it is. So that's probably also Dexter Lawrence as well. So we're gonna have a really late first-round pick. It's gonna be, yeah, 28. And we just got bounced in the divisional round. All right, so who is here that I would like to take? Uh, we could go for another corner if we wanna move on from Logan Ryan. But Shane Lee, I know I got him, I think, in the Bears rebuild. But we could use another bit of linebacker too. Too. Like behind Blake Martinez and potentially could start going forward. Like Siaki Ika could be like the actually the good pick or Tyron Mullen. But I'm gonna go after Shane Lee and yeah, he's gonna be our MLB two next year in development. We'll have to see it. So we pretty much just added three linebackers: Henry Toto, DeAndre Square, and uh, Shane Lee. So that's pretty much what the team is gonna be looking like. If we generate the best team, let's see. So Andrew Thomas down to normal development. That hurts. We have Hernandez, Dickerson, Tomlinson, and Orlando Brown, Evan Ingram, and Rudolph still. We got Slayton, Waddle, and Galladay, Barkley, Jones. Okay, I guess Rudolph could be our fullback. Joseph Asai still normal development. Hopefully he goes up. We got Martinez, Lee, Lorenzo, Carter. Toto's normal development. Uh, Square is also normal. We got Peppers. Jackson, Logan Ryan, Bradbury, Williams, Twyman, and Dexter Lawrence. Let's hope that this team can make the playoffs once again. Jackson will be the slot corner. We can make Waddle the slot receiver. Sure. See so you guys in the season number two. And this Giants team goes eight and eight, and we win the division and have a home playoff game against the Green Bay Packers. So we're going to be in the playoffs once again. Oh my God. What are the odds of that happening? Every team in the NFC East went eight and eight. What? That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, we're the only team out of those eight and eight teams to actually make the playoffs. Wow. Like, what? <laughs> I've never seen that. So, Daniel Jones actually has a pretty good season. He was, what, 12th in passing yards? 12th, 4,200, 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, sacked 33 times. Rushing was Saquon, 1,100 yards, 8 TDs. Brandon, Brandon Knox, 7 touchdowns, okay. Daniel Jones found the end zone twice. Galladay and Waddle, both over 900 yards. Ingram, 8, uh, 33. Each of them had 7 touchdowns. There's Darius Slayton, who had the second most receptions on the team, and Kyle Rudolph. If we go to sacks, you get the most sacks, Orlando Brown and Andrew Thomas. And then we had nobody over 100 tackles. Sacks, 9 for Leonard Williams, 7 and a half for Lorenzo Carter, six and a half for Joseph Asai, Dexter Warren, six and a half, two. And then James Bradbury had four interceptions and a bunch of guys with two. Can we beat the Packers here in wildcard weekend? We do. Oh my God. How did we beat the Packers this year? But we couldn't beat 
the Washington football team last year. All right, so we're on the divisional round to take on the Buccaneers at home. I know we beat them last year, so we definitely didn't play them at all this year. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, three touchdowns, zero picks. But Daniel Jones, two touchdowns, one pick. But hey, we ended up winning. I don't care. They have Isaiah Spiller. Saquon at 11 for 59. Did somebody fumble? Oh, wow. Slayton actually fumbled. Uh, Waddle, 5 for 84. Galladay, 7 for 73 and a touchdown. Uh, Ingram, 3 for 23 and a touchdown. Blocking-wise, we gave up three sacks. And, yeah, we didn't get an interception. Leonard Williams was the only person to get a sack. So, can we win this time in the divisional round? We made it last year, but we lost to the football team. And as an 8-8 eight and eight team, can we... I don't know. Can we go to the conference championship? I don't have a lot of hopes, but I... Come on. Give me some luck, Madden. Let's go! Let's freaking go. We win 44 to 21. We blow out the Bucks. I don't know who their quarterback is because Brady was a free agent. And is it Brady still? No, it is Bo Nix out of Auburn. Daniel Jones was literally perfect in this game. 360 for three touchdowns and zero picks. He was sacked only once. Saquon had a good game. Brendan Knox got in the end zone twice. Kenny Galladay goes off. Let's go. Title thumbnail of the video. And he's showing out. And we are now one game away from making the Super Bowl. We got no sacks. Blake Martinez got the pick. So we're taking on the Saints, right? Yeah. Uh, they are 11 and 5. They're good. They're good. I don't know who their quarterback is, but we'll see. I mean, this team has like no cap space either. So let's see what they were able to put together. Uh, so their quarterback is Jaden Daniels, a rookie out of Arizona State. Okay. I uh, don't know much about him, but uh, yeah, I guess he's a real player out of Arizona State. Yeah, he's their current quarterback. So we'll see who wins this game. They obviously have some playmakers like Michael Thomas and they have... Uh, Alvin Kamara, Daniel Jones, Offensive Player of the Week, and Blake Martinez, Defensive Player of the Week there in the NFC. So can we beat the Saints and go to the Super Bowl, beat them on the road in the Mercedes-Benz? Yeah, we lose by uh, we lose by 10. So uh, Daniel Jones, is he up to uh, maybe star development? Okay, I don't know. How is he going to get that in the Pro Bowl? We're not, why, how is he going to get three touchdowns and 300 yards in the Pro Bowl? Why would they even say that? Oh, that sucks that we end up losing the conference ship, but we've been competitive. In this video, we ended up losing by 10 there. Daniel Jones, 330 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. Okay, I mean, yeah, Jaden Daniels played pretty well. Uh, Joe Waddle played well, but yeah, we could not beat them. On to the offseason. So, I know Saquon's going to be a free agent. How much money do we have to spend? It is uh, 40 mil, and then let me just see who else is a free agent. So, Bradbury, I need to bring back. Obviously, he's our top corner. Two-year deal. We'll give him, yeah, we're gonna have to pay him a lot of money. Uh, Superstar X Factor, he's gotta come back. Uh, Darius Slayton, Blake Martinez. Oh, we have some guys. Okay, Julian Love, we can allow walk. Should have traded him. Lakin Tomlinson, honestly, we can bring back on a one year deal. Uh, we could always sign him in the off or in free agency if he doesn't take that. He does. Uh, Blake Martinez, I'd like to bring back. Him and Shane Lee can be our middle linebackers. I'm just gonna give him a two year deal though. If he declines, yeah, I'll just sign him in free agency. And Slayton, I would like to bring back. Yeah, we got some targets for Daniel Jones. We might as well just kind of keep them with Waddle, Galladay, and Slayton. So we have like 13 mil to spend. And like I said, I'd like to bring... Oh, yeah, Saquon as well. So yeah, we're going to look to bring back Saquon on a four-year deal. And we're going to lowball him. Let's hope we sign him though. And that is 67 total points. So we will see. I mean, if we don't get him, then we can go after Kareem Hunter. I mean, that's there's not really a lot of options there. So let me look at middle linebackers. And Bobby Wagner is there, but we are going to bring back Blake Martinez. Honestly, just on a two-year deal, and we should have enough to offer him that, and that is the case. So let's hope we bring back Martinez and uh, Saquon. Do we need to bring in our, a new kicker or a new punter? Let me see. Kicker, no, we got uh, Graham Gano. And punter, we do need a punter. So let me bring in Chris Jones, which we don't have really the money at all for, but I'm not giving him 30 mil a year, so let me do that. And he's going to have, like, no signing bonus. So we got Blake Martinez. Don't tell me Saquon's getting bid at. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, Saquon. Is gone as a New York Giant. Uh, yep, he is done. The second overall pick in the draft, right? Really panned out. Uh, like, I, I don't have the money to really get into a bidding war. So, we can offer, like, Damian Harris, like, a one-year deal. And we can look to draft a running back as well. So, yeah, we're going to give him, like, that. Um, if he signs with it, he signs. Uh, he's not a bad player, so we'll see if he does. So, do we get Damian Harris or that punter, Jones? And we don't get Harris, but we do get Jones. So, yeah, we are going to have to draft a running back. So, I had CPU scouting on this whole time. We have picked 29 cheese, and it's auto-generated class. So, looking at halfbacks, I mean, yeah, like, we can go after Eric Whittle or Sheldon Hall. Yeah, there's some good running backs in this draft. Jeremy Hardy actually looks really good, but uh, we're not going to jump to QB. So we're going to go Lamar Corbett here with our first round pick. 77 overall. Second in true value. But he's normal development. 
But we're definitely going to be playing him over Twyman. So I'm going to take a running back here. Hardy is on the board. Um, Terrell Hennings, first round great power back though. Honestly, let's do it. Let's just take him. Hidden development, please. Ugh. I mean, he's our starting running back, so we have to roll with him anyway. Took Byron Kill or Kilroy here in the third round. All right, of a pick. In the fourth round, Chris Dekulis or Dekulis. Uh, he's okay. So in our third season, we have lost in the divisional round and we have lost in the conference championship. Can we maybe go to the Super Bowl this year? Same offense, pretty much. Besides, we got Hennings there as our running back. What a word. Yeah, losing Saquon does hurt. Bradbury, um, and we don't even have Logan Ryan. Okay, thank God we do have uh, Darnay Holmes. Uh, yep, yeah, he's going to be our slot uh, corner. We have Corbett, Lawrence, and Williams. We got McKinney Osai, who's up to start development. Yes, uh, Shane Lee, who's actually going to be our middle linebacker one. And Lorenzo Carter, which are real peppers there. Special teams, we are good. Specialist, Holmes will be the slot corner, Waddle slot receiver. Can this team maybe make the playoffs again for the third straight year? We'll have to wait and see. So this Giants team has just been respectable all video long. We do go 10 and 6. We do not win the division. We were a wild card team. We are going to be taking on the Niners on the road. The Cowboys were the one seed in the NFC. So I kind of could already see that matchup. Did the Washington football team also went 10 and 6? They made the playoffs as well. So after everybody going 8 and 8 last year, we get three teams in the NFC East making the playoffs this year. Daniel Jones, second in the NFL in passing yards, 44. 128 TDs, 12 interceptions. Terrell Hennings, not very good. Receiving wise, Jalen Waddle has a monster year. Galladay has a pretty good season. Ingram, great season for a tight end. Slayton, another great year. 82 catches, most on the team. Blocking wise, double digits. Oh, how does my center give up 10 sacks? Damn. Oh, okay. Uh, not an F sacks for Leonard Williams. A and F Joseph size is stud outside linebacker. Henry Uto Oto getting involved. Okay, and we had a bunch of interceptions as well through for Shane Lee. And oh, as I'm recording this video, the Giants and a former Titans quarterback, Adore Jackson, have reached a three-year, $39 million deal. I don't know if you guys can read that, but yeah, it's 6.01 p.m. On March 22nd, so that was fitting that I got a Dory Jackson anyway. So can we beat the Niners and go to the divisional round for the third straight year? Oh, baby, we blow them out. Let's go. We have somebody to upgrade their development trait. Lamar Corbett. Yeah, let's try to get him up to a star development. So Jimmy Garoppolo threw two interceptions. Daniel Jones, not a touchdown or interception. On the ground, they do have Kareem Hunt. Uh, Brandon Knox ended up with three touchdowns. Okay. Receiving-wise, he was also, wow, he put up a pretty good fantasy day and then i wonder who got the two interceptions on the team as we also had three sacks one for carter corbett and williams leonard lorenzo and lamar and bradbury got the two interceptions and i feel like darnay home, darnay home should have been part of my plans kind of more in season number one so can we beat the 11 and 5 falcons on the road yeah it's washington football team versus the cowboys there so uh yeah can we beat the falcons on the road and potentially go to the conference championship two years in the road please 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 let's go we beat them 38 to 21 does corbett get yes he does get star development let's go also i should probably be using some of my coaching xp so we could just i don't know i probably should have used some of the training boost uh, I don't even know why I did running back, but we can do O-line, D-line, linebacker, DBs. Might as well do tight ends as well. So Daniel Jones, two touchdowns, one interception. He was sacked three times. Sam Howell, 329 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. He was sacked once. Terrell Hennings, okay. He goes off for 116 rushing yards, nine yards a carry and a touchdown. We had three rushing touchdowns by three different players. Evan Ingram got in the end zone. Same with Jalen Waddle. Let's freaking go. Blocking wise, we gave up three sacks. Defensive wise, we ended up getting just one sack combined. And the interception was from Xavier McKinney. What are the odds we beat the 12 and 4 Cowboys and win our third straight road playoff game? Probably not high. I don't think we're going to win. Let's go. Oh my God. My voice got it right there. But we are going to the Super Bowl to take on the Cleveland Browns. Yes. All right. Perfect fitting. For this video, we went to the division round, lost, went to the conference championship, lost. Now we're in the Super Bowl. Let's not lose. Daniel Jones, three touchdown, one interception. Both him and Dak were sacked three times. Rushing wise, Hennings got two touchdowns, but terrible yards per carry. Receiving wise, Jalen Waddle goes off. Galladay gets two touchdowns. Uh, gave up three sacks. Dickerson, why does he suck now? I don't know. Lawrence Tooto and Shane Lee, all with the sacks. And let's go Super Bowl in year three. Can Danny Dimes win the Giants the Super Bowl? The battle of the 10 and six teams. 
We're gonna be hopping right into this. We'll be playing the moments as well. All right, so big first quarter drive. We get the ball first against the Browns. Let's see what this offense can do. Don't have much of a running game, so we're probably gonna be passing it a lot. We got Slayton, we got Galladay, and obviously Jalen Waddle. We got Hennings in the backfield. We'll see what he can do on the ground. Okay, not a bad start to the game, getting the first down off the stretch play. We got Galladay on the out route here. Come on, Kenny, let's go. Kenny Galladay gets the first down, gain of 15. I want to try to get Jalen Waddle involved, see what he can do with the uh, the ball in his hands. Let's go. Jalen Waddle's going to get the first down and more Jalen Waddle. Oh, my God. Is he going all the way? Is he going all the way? He's going to outrun Grant to put it. He's in the end zone. Let's go. Jalen Waddle with the touchdown play over the drag and the Giants are on the board in just three plays. All right. I think we got a safety as the Browns are also in the uh, the red zone. So this isn't looking too great. We got Jabril Peppers in the box here. Is he going to be able to blitz boy action? And he is blitzing and are we going to get a sack? No, they are going to get a uh, two-yard gain to Austin Hooper. Leonard Williams. Oh, another play to Austin Hooper. Is that a first down? Damn. All right, we'll see if we can stop Baker. And he's got the touchdown to Jarvis Landry. They're up now, 9-7. Damn, back on defense. They're in the red zone. Or, no, nah, they're not even in the red zone. But they're on our side of the field. Let's hopefully... Okay, it's third and five, actually. Let's not allow a first down. Please, please. Yes, let's go. Did some D-Wyman hit it. And they're going to be punted. Or, no, I'm just kidding. Kicking a field goal. Just kidding, they're, oh, it just said they were going for it, but it's just them kicking the field goal. So unless they miss this in a dome, probably not happening for, uh, what is this, 43 yards. Yeah, they're up uh, 12 to 7. Can we get the ball back on offense? Okay, here we go. We got a third down here, third and 10. We need a first down. I don't know who to go. I don't like the running back wheel here. I don't like that Slade in play. Let's just honestly send Slade in deep. And then we're going to send... Uh, Ingram's going to block. Yeah, Ingram's going to block. Let's see what we can do. Waddle and Galladay both going on the right side. Waddle. Oh, my God. That's... Oh, my God. What? They tried to pick it off. Let's go. And he jumped. And that's why I was able to go around him and not get tackled. And he gets the first down. Wow, that was lucky. Okay, so we're in the red zone. First and 10. Let's get a touchdown. We can, uh, we can afford to run it here before the two-minute warning. And that's what we're going to do to Terrell Hennings, the second-round running back pick. And he's going to get a nice game there. We're also going to try the screen. I would try to do an RPO, but I don't want to mess it up and get an illegal uh, touching. So, Hennings, come on, let's go. Can we get in the end zone of this play? And we will be. No, don't tell me that's holding. Oh, that's like the last thing we possibly needed was a holding. It probably won't be as bad because it was, I feel like, in the play rather than at the line of scrimmage. Just get. Okay, yeah, second and six. Only a loss of five rather than a loss of ten. I like Evan Ingram over the middle here. We could look at Galladay as well. Uh, I don't like anybody. Come on. Jones, he's got a little bit of speed to him. He's going to go for the first down. He's going to go for the end zone. And he trucks him, man. He's in. Let's go, Daniel Jones. He's going balls to the wall. And the Giants retake the lead. All right, they end up kicking a field goal before uh, the... Um F ends, but we actually have uh, no timeouts here, so we really just got to chuck this deep and then hope for the best. Uh, I don't know. Let's just throw it up to Galladay, and wow, that was just not a good throw at all, and it's going to end in an interception. Yikes. Okay, let's hope they don't get a lot of yardage off this because there's still 10 seconds left. Damn, that was a complete underthrow by uh, by Daniel Jones, picked off by Greedy Williams. And the Browns are up by eight. Okay, so we need to score here and get a two-point conversion. I'm getting Bears rebuild vibes here. Oh, uh, we got to pass it. Obviously, we could just send Slade in uh, deep. And then I kind of just like Galladay and Waddle coming over the middle. It's been working out because they're both studs. And yep, Galladay's right there. You know the slab plays work. Slade in, could you really not block? Could have been a touchdown. All right, first and 10. I'm going to try play action. Slade in over the middle. This is really risky. This is really risky. But he's there. And Slade in the end zone for the touchdown. Beautiful pass from Daniel Jones. And we need a two-point conversion to tie it up. And they didn't get the two-point conversion. Nice. The uh, the CPU did it. All right, so we got the ball. Five minutes left. We have a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. A field goal would be nice, but I, I kind of want a touchdown. So we're going to look for either Slater or Waddle over the middle. Waddle is going to break through. Come on. Come on. Secure catch. Let's go. Waddle inbounds. Huge play there. Third down again. It's going to be a third and ten. Oh, I don't know who to hit. It's probably going to be Galladay over the middle. It's usually trustworthy if he doesn't get open, though. And we're kind of screwed. And we're kind of screwed. Please. Mm, it's incomplete. All right, I guess we kick the field goal. Still a lot of time left. So we kicked the field goal, and uh, we got the ball back. Okay, we got the ball back third and ten. This is a huge first down. I'm going to send Waddle over the middle. We got a lot going on. I, I need Knox for some pass protection back there. And Ingram could be a quick throw. I probably should have threw that to Ingram. I definitely should have threw that to Ingram. What is going on? That's a massive sack. Oh, that hurts so much. Miles Garrett. Damn. All right. So we're going to have to punt. And then that might be it. 
Uh, wait, they want me to go? F no, I'm not going for it. And they're going to end up being in the end zone. Uh, okay, can we get force into the field goal? Nope, we ended up losing by nine. Oh, that sucks so much. The Browns win the Super Bowl. Needed that third down conversion, couldn't get it. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the Kenny Galladay, Dory Jackson, New York Giants rebuilds. If you guys want to see any updated free agency rebuilds, let me know down below. Like a new like pass rebuild, that one will definitely be fun. That could be the next one if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.